Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kitty Powers. Love life, hello cat. No, come on, I totally had that. Totally clicked on the cat, I'm just saying. Uh, oh well. So we are back in our village. Hello bird. Bird is nice to have. Uh, Alright. We have a message? Yes we do, from Dustin. The problem with the sports field has been resolved. How wonderful. That's very fortunate. New message. Another new message. This time from Ronan. Okay, the problem is unresolved. We'll bring you in today to resolve said problem. And Morgan needs our help right off the bat, pretty much. And within our first minute of re-entering our town, what do these guys do when I'm not here? Like, do their lives just stop? I mean, I know the days stop, but like, imagine if they didn't. It's oh, time man, to release the keep, love eggs. No, I should ignore them. <laughs> um, Choose a topic. Yeah, like if I just stopped, like, what would they even do? Do you think they would, you know, just bumble around and ruin their relationships? <laughs> All right, they like each other's facial decor, so that's nice. <laughs> So at least we don't have to worry about them being super duper angry at each other. Although Dustin's not in the best mood right now, and I'm not sure what that's about. But perhaps something must have happened, I just don't remember what it was. Alright, what we got? Dustin becoming friends with Valentina, hopefully. So then he'll have four whole friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling she would like that activity. Because we're finally getting into his guilty pleasure activities. Get so, by with a little help from my friends. So he's going to get new friends soon. And hopefully this will lead to everybody. Just have, Oh, I'm, just, I'm pretty sure I saw the cat. Alright, you have a problem, Ronan. You always seem to have one. No matter what I do... Pick a problem. All right, intimacy. Let's speak to Verity about it. We can do that tomorrow. Wow, you are very busy, Ronan. So tomorrow we will talk to Verity. Do you need to spend more time with friends? I don't even remember. Yeah, you don't have the ability to. So if we can get you and your partner married, then you guys can have guilty pleasures discovered. And you can start, you know, dealing with that. Dustin and Enzo are now trying to become friends. We just tried to set him up with a whole bunch of people as soon as we got his, uh, his secondary type to come out. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, no, no viticulture. He hated it. Alright, time to play it's Friendship Pinball! Pinball, pinball. Pinball! Like, a lot of people my age really remember playing this one pinball game. It was, like, free. It, like, came with a bunch of, like, computers or, like, it was free downloadable software or something. Oh my goodness, we're doing terribly. And we, I would just play it for hours. Like, I remember playing it all the time. No! Oh my god, it almost went down there. That would have been really bad. Okay, I, I, well, a jackpot would be great. Like, I'm more concerned about, like, just getting... Oh no! It's good! No! Alright, my boyfriend says that that cannot happen. He's like, it's never gone down the side. Case in point, it just ruined everything. <sighs> so now they've become enemies. And Kitty's gonna be mad at me at the end of the week just for this. Not happy. You hear that, Dustin? Not happy. Not winning at your friendship pinball. Alrighty. <laughs> what should we discuss? It's time to release the love eggs. If there's any number of things you could discuss. Choose a topic. Let's talk about bad habit because we might as well get it out of the way. Oh. Before they get married. Uh, so let's do it 
Tomorrow's Saturday. I think we are going to get through Saturday on, on today. Uh, on, on today. On this episode, because I think we just kind of need to. Because today is going to go by pretty quickly. Now, I would have loved to have talked about any of those things with them, but if we can get the bad habit out of the way before the wedding, that's, like, the most important thing. Because, you know, they're late if you don't do that. Samuel, you're getting along so well, are you? Are you really? Are you sure? I mean, you probably are. You probably know better than me. I mean, you're the one in the relationship. <laughs> All right, it's always preferable with another. He didn't like it. Oh, well. We'll just have to try something else, maybe. At least we didn't have to play any more terrible sideball friendship pinball. Very sad that that did not work out. Alright, let's see what's going on here, though. He's just at the beach, chilling in his, like, shag coat. Alright. Would you be interested in hiring a bucket and spade? Um, no. Something bad happened to a couple last week who hired the bucket and spade. And Valentina also needs our help in the fancy mansion at the back of town. I wonder if they like living in the fancy mansion. They probably do. You've forgotten the four-digit pin for your mobile phone. Did I move the wrong couple in here? I think I did, because I don't think they're supposed to be living here. One. One. Seven. I don't know if it's seven. How many people are in a baseball team? Uh, I know, I, I feel like I've looked this up. And now I'm looking it up again. 25 active, 25 player roster on baseball field. Nine. So one, one, nine, nine. There we go. So I think we moved the wrong couple in here. I'm now fairly convinced that we did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, how'd that even manage to happen? That's why Ronin still has issues. Like, hold up a second. Ronin. Ronin's our VIP. And he has about a million problems. So yeah, no, we need to... Messages now. We need to move them. We're moving them back into their other house. And then we need to find where Ronan lives and move them in there. That explains why his problem didn't go away. I was so confused. We have a lot of messages. Oh my goodness. Um, you guys are getting along so well, are ya? I mean, you probably are. You're probably not lying. I'd be sad if you were lying. We'll bring you in tomorrow to deal with it. Lenny has the exact same thoughts. So we don't need to bring both of them in. And Ronan, you're ready for marriage, are you? Are you really? We'll bring you in tomorrow as well. New message. Oh my goodness, why do we always get new messages right as soon as we're done? The problem with my house has been resolved. Okay. Some of you have probably been yelling at me about that for a while, that we moved the wrong couple into the mansion. But oh well, I fixed it now. We just had a little, tiny bit of a mansion mishap. Incoming message. Alright, what's our new message? Hopefully a problem has gone away. Nope. The problem has arose, ar arisen. The problem has arose. That's definitely the past tense. Alright, Fernando needs our help, so today's gonna be a long day. This'll probably be a longish episode, but hopefully you guys will like that. I know my episode's recently been on the shorter side. 
I haven't had as much time to record recently. <laughs> yeah. Together uh, forever. What should we talk it's about? Time quick. To release the love eggs. You guys have a lot of stuff to talk about. We're gonna talk about bad habits. Get these out of the way. <laughs> so we can do it today. Why not? We'll just do everything today. And we'll get it out of the way before it even becomes a problem. Cause I'm helpful like that. So he's here for hypnotherapy. We'll see if we can set him up with friends while we're at it. Because that's just, you know, what we always do. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, yo, right? Alright, fire. Flame. He hates the slimy dragon. Okay, so fire. Doesn't go there, and then lightning and sun are the other two. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, sun's in the right spot. Yay! Alright, we got it. No problemo. And he's now feeling compelled to stop singing badly. And he gets all that uh, mood that he lost right back now that everything is. Back to normal. So let's see if we can get you some uh, friends tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. So who would like a spa day? Probably yeah. Lenny. Uh -huh. Although, is Lenny trying to move out? No, I think Lenny's trying to get married. Uh -huh. So he'll be he'll be here yeah. for a while before he's he's gone. Everything will be fine. I am convinced. We have so many things to do today. We've even got something like at the very end of our day. Are we doing any level ups today? We might be. I can never remember, but Saturday, Sunday are, are good days for level ups. I do tend to schedule them around there for reasons. All right, let's do another hypnotherapy right after the last. Find the combination to interpret the visions. All right, boat and mountain dragon. He does not like the boat. The mountains. Fine okay, we're gonna move a mountain and then we've got lightning and flower. Okay, so lightning goes somewhere, flower goes somewhere. Okay, yay, they just they swap flower and lightning. I was worried we might not get this one and have to bring him back in tomorrow, but now everything's a okay. And we're going to get rid of his bad habit before he gets married. Yeah. No more rumors for you. Yeah. Alright, do you need to spend time with friends? I feel like you're already like full up. I don't know if he's gonna like showing off bling watches. He might not. He probably won't. I don't even know anymore. Um, but let's just leave it at that for now. And he needs relationship guidance because we're gonna plan his wedding. Oh. Okay. We've, we've, we've done that. He's all booked up. Yeah, that's right. I should just remember these things. There's only 12 of them. Like, why can I not remember anything about 12 things? It's not that many things. But I just, I struggle with it. What's this? Dustin and Olivia are going to become friends. Hopefully. We'll see if it works. Not had the best success on his most recent friendship attempt. <laughs> Um, she doesn't like it. Well, that's okay. Well, just the next time he's in, we'll, you know, figure out more people for him to hang out with. You are still having issues with friends. Okay. Maybe we'll just have him drink a love potion about that. Because it's rough always having like he, we can't set him up with more people like we can't set him up with more people we have to do it through other people and... wow and that didn't go well <sighs> hit the targets to defuse the situation all right hopefully we'll have better luck on this set of pinball maybe i just shouldn't speak about pinball while playing pinball uh, better luck and everything will go better. So 
let's just focus. Let's see if we can get a jackpot, because I wouldn't mind having a little bit more money. Actually, no, let's just go for it. We are kind of low on money for the last two days of the week, and we might have, you know, makeovers to consider. But we'll just have to do cheap makeovers this week. Right. Weren't you just here? Pick a problem. I feel like you were just here. I'm very confused, but I don't know. Drink this. Goodbye problem. Now he has a somewhat more reasonable number of problems. <sighs> for the first time, I moved the wrong people into the house that I built for him. Because I'm silly. Verity has a problem. We'll bring her in today. Alright. So we've got Morgan and Verity both here for problemos they would like to get solved. <laughs> Thanks for inviting you. Pick All right, a let's see. <laughs> you don't know how to put it. You're hiding who you really are <laughs> from the world. Um, you're gonna come out to someone. What was your inner type? Vintage. He might like it actually. We're gonna try Enzo. Alright, you're gonna do it today. So hopefully that'll make all that go away. Oh, you're already scheduled with two other people, yeah, so I had a feeling you're probably all booked. And you were. Choose a client. Alright, Verity. You're not married, so don't think you can have such a nice problem to deal with. Because I enjoy dealing with the repression ones. Um, is it a problem with your partner? With his behavior? With him doing the chores? We need to talk to Ronan about it. And that's gonna be- we're not doing it today. We have enough going on today. We're gonna do it tomorrow. And hopefully Ronan will be understanding about why he should, um, you know, accept- Accept his responsibility in the chores. Alright, we have so many things going on today. But busy days are good. Like, sometimes I really enjoy my busy days. And the days when I'm not busy, I get, like, I'll just mopey and I don't know what to do. Alright, what do you think of it? No? Okay. Ronan, we're trying here. Ronan. Ronan, please. Alright, oh, we're, we're doing something. Olivia and Bobo are gonna tie the knot maybe this time for realsies. I'm <laughs> pretty sure they failed last time, like, miserably. <laughs> Alright, so Bobo is sports-like. Choose a style type. Uh, so we want sports-like things. Hey. So let's just do that, that's enough. <laughs> He'll notice it, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, let's hope that this works this time and it doesn't explode in our face with an affair, because I'm pretty sure last time that's what happened. There was a, an explodey facial affair. <sighs> Alright, we invited her, did we? Why? Talk about friends? Maybe to bother you? Are you married? Okay, that's what we were doing. Okay. Who's your partner? He's chic. He likes that new, uh, that new fangled business center. So I don't think having it tomorrow is gonna, yeah, that's not gonna be possible. Oh boy. This isn't looking good, guys. So we can't do it there. Uh. So let's try to have it at the restaurant. Now we at least know we can have it tomorrow if we can't. Okay, I am actually going to push it out until Monday. Just so we don't get too much stacked up on the same day. Yeah, uh, no, that's not what we should bring. <laughs> Um, none of those things. Yeah, let's bring that. I don't know if he'll like it, because it's from the restaurant, 
But that hasn't worked in the past. So I don't know. I don't know how well that would go down. Alright, let's help Olivia get married to Bobo. You two have been problematic. From the very start. Alright, it's the day of our marriage ceremony. Alright, so they're both exhibiting their good habits. She's had a makeover. She brought a gift. Okay, yeah, like, he didn't like it. Even though it's from the beach. I'm so confused about the gifts thing. I don't understand how it works. Alright. <laughs> he loves the beach. Uh, and here's our tough part. These guys have both had extra relationship relations. Okay, nobody wanted to stop this. Bobo Fleshfoot. Remember the order to recite the vows. Okay, it's heart, heart strength, hands, death, sun time. 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 Choose the correct note. Strength, hands, death, sun. All right, heart strength, hands, death. Heart strength, hands. Death, sun. I don't even remember time. Was time the last one? Heart, strength, hands. I mean, it's the one I don't remember. I might have been time. Yeah, heart, strength, hands, death, sun. It must have been time. I was right. Oh. Heart was the very first one. Because it should always be in your marriage vows. I'm just going to make that a general rule. Alright, we're going to get a problem penalty because he's uh -oh. got one. They've got a problem penalty. Okay, but we only have one bad space. So that's Ooh. pretty good. It's the wheel of destiny. Come on, kitten. Give it a spin. So, you know, our chances are not that good. Although right now, they're, they're looking. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I was a little worried for a bit. Just a tad bit. Jackpot. We got ten coins, and sh they are getting married. It's about time these two got married. Alright, they're now married. We finally got them there. Alrighty. Yay, we're getting close to that level 15. At the end of the week, hopefully, we'll get that reputation of ours back up. Alright, we're only like halfway through the day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, indeed. So that extra money definitely helps. Alright, Mona needs our help at the museum. This is Charlotte, the head curator. I don't think we've met Charlotte before. Um, we can get a tour for 20 coins. Sure, she's gonna go on the guided tour. She seems to have enjoyed it. So educational. Certainly is. You were very lucky to have such an illus illustrious expert. Bye bye for now. You know there was so much to learn about ancient Egypt. I mean like just off the top of my head like Egyptian mythology, the pyramids, the pharaohs, the Nile, the their slavery. I once made like a gingerbread pyramid in a class of mine. Um, there were gummy bears involved. Why did I agree to bring somebody in today? Like, I have more than my fair share of things to do today. And I'm just giving myself more stuff to do. Although, to be fair, that's, you know, pretty characteristic of my actual nature. Alright, where to find the phone charger? We haven't done this game in a while. In the bathroom. In the bathroom, on the cupboard. In the bathroom, on the cupboard. Right next to the dustpan and brush. In the bathroom, on the cupboard, next to the dustpan and brush. Under a suitcase. 
in a lunchbox. Uh, okay, uh, under the bathroom. Uh, in the bathroom. Uh, under the bathroom. Uh, on the uh, cupboard. Uh, right next to the uh, dustpan and brush. Uh, under uh, suitcase. Uh, in a lunchbox. Uh, <laughs> it's so obvious, apparently, if you're them, that that's where her phone charger would be. So we're going to confront Verity now and see what she's been up to. Alrighty, I believe this is a problem with intimacy still. We're going to do spicy things more often. Click to stop the meter. Oh, fabulous! Oh yeah, I'm just the best at this, obviously. Wow, we got it again, even though I would argue that that's not in fabulous at all. But you know, I will not be upset, because now we were going to get a 10-day compromise with a jackpot. 50 whole coins! Alright, for 10 days, she's doing... Spice things. For five more days, she's still trying to do more housework. But like, you guys wanting to, you know, do a relationship level up, and not super on my list of things uh, that you should do. It's not that far up there. What I have a message from who? From Bobo. Oh, that's fine. They're all hitched up and whatnot. <laughs> All right, Mona's here to talk about her relationship with moi. Okay, so let's talk about you proposing. Okay, so we've already dealt with that. Let's see, what about friends? You're artistic. I don't think she's going to go for that, but hey, you never know. This is not looking good. So, um, I guess we're not doing that with her. Maybe we'll try it with Olivia instead. Because they actually have some free time at the same time. I mean, as you become an adult, that is one of the things that becomes the most difficult, is just finding time that you and your friend have free time at the same time. Because it's pretty rare. It doesn't happen that often. Because, you know, as you become an adult, like, a bunch of people work and have school. Um, and some people work full-time and have school, and some people go to school full-time and have part-time work on top of that. Plus, you know, if they have a significant other, there's a certain amount of time they expect to spend with that person. Yay, they're friends now. So happy for you, too. Oh, what would we do without friends? Um, and then, you know, if they have other hobbies that you're not a part of, so like, say if they play a sport, or they, you know, go to the gym, that just makes it more difficult. And so you're, I found so far that being out of, like, I no longer live in, like, dorms and, and college or anything like that, you know, being out of that environment, or like the high school environment, it's a lot more lonely if you don't, like, proactively prevent it. We're just going to tell the truth about her hairstyle, because generally, if you tell the truth, they're happy. So, you know, I would say if, if that's something you don't have to deal with yet, because maybe you live in a place where social interaction just kind of happens with you and your friends, like if you're still in high school or you live like in dorms in college or something like that, it, it doesn't always stay that easy. It really doesn't. Alright, you didn't like it. That's okay. No friendship pinball, at the very least. I think, yeah, we tried to do a lot of friendship setups for this Saturday. I remember Saturday was gonna just be the, um, uh, so that, that love juice isn't lasting very long on Ronan. He's already complaining about the friendship thing again. Drat. I had a, I mean, I knew it was gonna come back. Okay. I think he'll like it. <laughs> oh my god, he did not. Hit the targets to defuse the oh, situation. Enzo, I thought you would be you know, okay with it. You 
know, it's really rude to expect somebody to be different. Mm -hmm. Wow, we may not hit like anything. Yep, we're not going to. There, there, there. I believe now uh, Morgan and Dustin are both enemies with Enzo. <laughs> so we need to bring Morgan back in so that we can get her work at, worked out of her vintageness. So let's just go ahead and make sure we bring her in before we forget. We'll bring her in tomorrow. We're not bringing her in today. Do I have another new message? Yeah, of course I do. Um, did we already invite one of you in? Because I feel like we might have. No? Question mark? Okay, we can bring you in tomorrow as well then. Incoming message. People stop sending me messages at midnight. I get I get way too many emails very late at night. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow's gonna be a very very busy day. All right, Morgan and Samuel are trying to become friends. I don't know what what are they doing at the lake in the middle of the night. I don't remember. Water polo. He hated it. More friendship, Pinball! Pinball! Alright, well, we're already doing better. Alrighty. Just gotta hit that last one. We can do it, right? I mean, I know we haven't had, like, the best of luck with the uh, Pinball this episode, but. Surely we can, eventually, just by random chance, we're going to hit that one, right? I would imagine so. If we came close, we're already over the jackpot as long as, you know, we can finish the game. See, that's what's strange about this. Pinball normally doesn't have... <sighs> right back down the sides again. Okay. Two in one episode. I want, I want it marked down for the record. Two in one episode. Right, we are jackpot at least. So that's nice. Oh, well, Glad we've got that. Like Alright, and there we go. That's the end of our day. And that's the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye